Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Levin and I'm an Associate pre sales Engineer at UiPath and today we will be going over an inventory management use case using AI Fabric. Overall, this process is meant to portray a retailer who is predicting sales for the next time period and increasing inventory in order to meet these sales. There are four main steps to this process. First, the extraction of inventory data from a CRM. Second, obtaining the sales prediction for the next time period using an ML model hosted in AI Fabric. Third, informing the employee of the necessary increase in inventory. And fourth, completing the purchase in order to increase inventory. Next, I will show you how a user can upload a model into AI Fabric. In order to upload the model to Orchestrator, the user will navigate to the ML Packages tab and upload the machine learning model. Then, they will fill out the input fields in order to describe the machine learning model. Once this is complete, the user will click Upload and navigate to the ML Skills tab. Within this tab, the user has version control over the machine learning models. Additionally, this is where you will actually deploy the model so it is accessible as an activity within Studio. Now that we have deployed the model, let's navigate to Studio. This part of the workflow is where we will predict sales for the next time period. In order to do this, we will drag the ML skill activity into the workflow. Immediately, we are provided with all of the models that we have deployed within Orchestrator. We will pick the predict inventory model, and we are provided with a description of this model. Additionally, we can test this model by providing a sample input and seeing what the output looks like. This helps the developer to learn how to parse the output. Thanks to our amazing AI and product team, they have truly made drag and drop AI possible. Now that we have completed this automation, let's run the workflow. The first part of the process is the collection of inventory data and the prediction of sales. Usually, this would be scheduled, but for now, we will kick off the job in Orchestrator. Additionally, this is a back office process that you would usually never see, but I have provided a display of the virtual machine so we can see what is going on. You can see that the robot is logging into the CRM and collecting inventory data on each item. Once the robot has made these predictions, the purchasing manager will receive an email informing them to kick off the attended robot on their personal computer. A form will pop up and they will be provided with a dynamic explanation for each predicted purchase number. Additionally, they can adjust this purchase number if they think it is incorrect. Once they hit submit, a robot is kicked off on a virtual machine in order to complete these purchases. This part of the process happens in the back office and no one would usually see this happening. With this automation, we were able to use RPA and AI to predict sales and purchase inventory. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.